people if somebody on a Skype call wanting to speak to you. Who is it? It is Tommy Hawk. Hey guys, how are you? Good. I heard you guys skate at Livingston, yeah. and um, I got to go there one time in my life. I think it's cool that you guys skate there because even though Livingston might be challenging for you guys, it's going to help you in the end because you're going to be able to skate yeah. anything going forward. Yeah, it's proper. Everything's going to feel smooth after that. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I think that the, the fact that you guys are so passionate and, and, and that anyone sees you out there is going to be inspired or when you're out there on social media and um, especially inspiring a generation of girls is hugely important. Yeah. Bye. 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 I cannot believe Can you? What, what just happened there? We just saw you Tony Hawk! <laughs> oh, just so happy! I think everybody just thinks like, um, skating's like a boy's sport. Like, I think that's what everybody's thinking and they're like, you shouldn't be skating, you should be like, inside playing with dolls. Because there wasn't so many girls skating, at first they, they just wanted to make their own little unit, their own little team, and then they were calling themselves skate rats, and then they were like, they all had wobbly teeth at the same time, and they were saying they were like little snaggle teeth, and they just came up with this idea that they were snaggle rats. Snaggle They don't want to be known as girl skateboarders, they just want to be skateboarders. We sell the snaggle rats because we he knew how we should inspire more girls. We thought that girls should have a chance to do everything and should be able to do stuff what boys can as well. If there was a skate park that we could go to that was that was well maintained that we could skate at, then it would obviously wouldn't hold them back. I feel like they're being held back because I can't afford to pay them to an indoor park, which which. It's a safe place to go. The main issue is the surface here. A lot of people think this place is really gnarly. There's definitely, yeah, enough to knock a kid off with their balance and send them flying, yeah. Like, up here, it's like, there's mud starting from here. Like, mud starting from here that you actually slip on. Is that sucky? Yeah, it's like, I up. Right. Feel how deep this is. Ooh. It's almost the size of my hand. It's conky, it, it's not wood, it's not grass, it's solid, thick concrete. Yeah. Because all it takes is one fall. One fall and that's months and months of building their confidence back up to get back to that point mm -hmm. again. Do you know, trying to encourage your kids to do something but knowing inside you that you're like, you're should I actually <laughs> be doing that? There's no way these events can be just boys and without making a big deal about it or saying, you know, let's, let's have a quality in skateboarding, the only way we're really going to get that is if we travel the miles and we put the miles in and show up at the competitions and say, here's what the skating community is. There's girls here and they're bloody good. Yeah, they're willing to go at it. Uh, yeah, we had fun as well. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Road trip. Skateboarding's just went into the Olympics and you've got all these younger generation and older generation that are finally recognising the sport for what it is and there's nowhere for them to practise. It should all get resurfaced, we should all get a big huge skateboard crew um, to go here. Or we can do a big skate to get money so we can get enough like money. Like Yeah, to get enough money to get the stuff we need to make cakes and stuff. Right, so let's post that. Yeah. Let's get it going and make Livy skate again. Yeah. 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 There is going to be a fun day at Livingston on the 30th of November. Bring a helmet and pads and just come along and join. We're going to teach the children how to skate. We have spare skateboards as well. So don't worry, you don't need to get a skateboard. There's a whole generation of kids here that want to skate it and they want to skate it at its best. So guys, these three here are the reason that this all happened here today. They wanted to spread their joy of skateboarding through everybody and like I said earlier, they started their very own little skate crew. And today, they're going to hand out some t-shirts to the people that are joining in with their crew. Once I'm older and I've got my own, I've got like a family, I think like we're going to be like skating for about 
every day. I love you.